Hey guys, welcome back to another video. First thing I want to say is go Celtics. Celtics in seven, hopefully less, but Dallas is probably gonna make us go to seven. In today's video, as usual, we're gonna talk about some scammers, Gen DLs, moms and croms. I'm also gonna go over my live. I did a YouTube live a couple days ago now. But first, I wanna say something. So I received this email this morning. We're not gonna play that fucking game. We're not gonna do that. We are absolutely not going to do that. I will find out who sent that email. If they're joking or not, we don't we don't play that game around here. This YouTube channel is not a crime. Sending an email like that is. Just clearing that up, just a little clarification for you guys. You don't wanna play that game with me. I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video. If you do not wanna be in one of my YouTube videos where I am talking shit, then don't do something that would warrant me talking shit about you. Don't be a bad person. Don't be a scammer. Don't be fucking two-faced. Don't talk shit about me in a group chat where your true colors come out and then act all innocent in public and be like, oh my gosh, she's talking about me in a video. Don't be a shit person and you won't end up in a Vat is Rad YouTube video. Although, 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 I am gonna do a video soon telling you guys my favorite live sellers and just shouting out some people that have supported me and some people that I recommend you guys go check out and support. Um, so aside from that video, I'm talking about all the other videos. If you don't wanna be in a Vatizard YouTube video where I don't talk nicely about you, don't give me a reason to not talk nicely about you. Okay? It's that simple. In my YouTube live, I talked about Jen Diels and her live that she did. She did an anti-bullying live, which is hilarious because she is literally the biggest bully ever. I was sent the whole entire live and I started to film a YouTube video going over it, but I'm not, I can't, I don't know if I can finish this because it's just so painful to listen to her talk and to listen to her lies. But basically in her anti-bullying live, she said that she was getting death threats. She said that people were wishing death upon her mom. She said she was getting phone calls. She said people were driving by her house. I do not believe any of that for one second. No, I don't, I don't. I don't believe it because surely she would show proof. She's literally lying out of her ass to make people feel sorry for her and once again, play the victim. Once again, do not believe Jen Diaz when she says that people are harassing her, wishing bad things upon her and driving by her house. Actually, there probably are people driving by her house. It's her fucking neighbors. <laughs> no one from the internet is driving by Jen Diaz's house. Also, she said people are mailing her stuff. No, where's your proof? Guys, like just, Think about it, okay? Jen Deals likes to um, kind of, or try. She likes to try to do what I do. She likes to try to be me, but she never will be. She likes to try to call people out on her Instagram. If somebody sent something to her house or if somebody sent her a death threat, she 100 million fucking percent would put that on her Instagram. She would show proof, but she hasn't because she has no proof because it has never happened. None of those things have ever happened. She also said that her lawyer watches my YouTube videos and her lawyer goes in her Instagram account and blocks people. <laughs> no lawyer is gonna be like, can I, I'll have your login information. Let me see your login information. I'll log in and I'll just, I'll just block people. The lies that she makes up are literally insane. It was really funny though. There were a few other scammers in her show, Mariel's Closet, Next Level Luxury. Here's a little comment from Next Level Luxury. Okay, the puking face should be toward you, not me. You're the scammer. This is something that I wanted to clear up and I am gonna mention this person's name because I mentioned them in a previous video and I need, I need to clear this up. I need to set the record straight. So in a previous video, if you could stomach it, Jen Deals was talking about someone else's husband. She called him sexy. She called him big daddy. Like fucking so gross to hear her talk like that. That person's husband was Mary, who is Beauty and Trends. Beauty and Trends and Jen Deals are not friends. Beauty and Trends was like literally utterly embarrassed during her show, like those comments, she, they're, they're not friends. So for Jen to be talking that way about her husband is actually insane. Like I can understand if, you know, like that's like your best friend, like, oh yeah, he's sexy. You're like my best friend's husband, sexy. Like, you know, like in a, not in like a creepy ass way, but in like, that's my best friend, you know? You know, like, I don't, even then it might be fucking awkward, but for them to have literally no relationship at all and for Jen to talk like that, is crazy. In my previous video, 
I said, oh, you know, maybe she's like Jen because she's friends with her. Because in the chat, it looked like they were friends, but apparently it was just Mary being like, haha, yeah, okay. Because, you know, she was embarrassed and didn't know what the fuck to say. She did reach out to me, and I did have a couple other people reach out to me on her behalf and say, hey, no association, don't group them together. Beauty and Trends is not friends with Jen Deals. So we need to, we need to set that record straight. I told her that I would talk about it in a video to set the record straight. So that makes it even more fucked up that they literally have no association. They've like been in each other's shows. And Mary was in her show supporting her because she was one of the ones that got fooled. Because again, if you went into one of her shows and heard her sob story about her mother and didn't know anything about Jen and her past and all the shit that she's done, absolutely, you'd fall hook, line, and sinker for that. I'd be like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. I'm gonna support you. Exactly what Mary did. Mary had no idea about my videos. I feel like a lot of people that go into Jen shows have no idea about my videos and no idea of the shit that she's done. I just wanted to clear that up because I had wrongly associated them with each other. Jen thinks they're friends and Mary's like, no, it's not. Nope. Nope. Or Jen thinks a lot of fucked up things in her mind that aren't true. All the lies that she tells daily. So I'm really not surprised. I'm really not surprised that they are not actually friends. Moms and crumbs. Holy shit. Somebody sent me a link to a Reddit post. Surprise, surprise. She's selling more things that she shouldn't be selling. This time it's makeup. Expired makeup. That's not good. Expired makeup can make you really sick. It could maybe even kill you. Like that's a little bit dramatic, but it literally could. I bought some Givenchy products from Moms and Crumbs and checked the expiration dates online. Some were manufactured back in 2015 or 2016. What the hell? Can I even touch them? So here we've got some screenshots. This is a foundation. There's the box, a code on it, 6N01. And somebody went to this website and looked up the code. Givenchy and it said that it was manufactured in January 2016. Fucking yikes. It's 2024. Here's another item. This is a blush. This one was manufactured in April 2015. Look at these boxes. I mean, you can tell, you can, you can tell just by looking at these boxes, they're old as fuck. Here's another screenshot um, just about like the batch code information. I can't find the comment, but somebody did reply and they said, oh, it hasn't been open yet. So you're all set. <laughs> what? Their expiration dates for a reason. Are you telling me if you have like, uh, let's say a bag of lettuce, let's say a bag of lettuce. If you have a bag of lettuce, it has an expiration date on it and you open it eight years past the expiration date, you'll be fine. You haven't opened it yet. So everything will last forever or until you open it. Really? <laughs> no, no, no. You can compare makeup and food because both of them do expire. They do. Sure, it'll be okay like a little while after the expiration date, but not eight, nine years. No, that's fucking dangerous. If it's expired, you could get sick. You could get really, really sick. You could have an allergic reaction to it. And if you didn't know, now you know, cosmetics do expire. Do not recommend buying expired makeup because you risk uh, getting rashes, getting sick. You just, who, who, who would want to risk that? Somebody else had commented on the Reddit post and they were like, oh, maybe she doesn't know. Mm. It's your responsibility as a seller to know what you're selling. You need to know that it's authentic. You need to know that it is not expired. You need to know the shit that you're selling. You can't use that excuse. You can't be like, I didn't know. Cause first of all, you can't fucking prove that. Second of all, it's your responsibility to know. Speaking of losers selling things that they shouldn't be selling guys, look at this screenshot from the Don's luxury show that they had yesterday, 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 a couple days ago, they were selling this Marc Jacobs tote bag. So fucking fake. So fucking fake. Let's do a side by side. I'm going to do a side by side of theirs and the real one. Like, how can you even, how, how do you, how, how? That's not one that can slip by either. Like you can literally look at that. You can see that the O is crooked. You can see that the spacing between the M and the S, like what, what? No. That's not one that can slip by and you can be like, oh, I didn't even notice that it wasn't <laughs> whatever their fucking excuse is going to be. Why are we still supporting these people? All right, guys, I'm going to go as always comment down below and let me know what your thoughts. Check the description box because I will have some important links. If you have ever been scammed on whatnot and you want to join a class action lawsuit, there's a survey that you can fill out and I'll get back to you with more information about that. There's also a few change.org petitions down below to get some sellers kicked off whatnot. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.